Welcome to Amish Magic School. This is part 2 of land measurement. That is circled land measurement method. In this video, we are going to measure circle type land, elliptical land, one side curve land or irregular elliptical type land. That is after watching this video and after learning this formula, that is the elliptical formula, you can measure any type of land with any side curve. If one side is curved, two side is curved, three side curved or four side curve, no problem. Using this elliptical method, you can easily find accurate result of any type of land. Let's see the formula of area of ellipse, this type of land. This is not exactly circle. This is ellipse, where this length A and this length is B. These two lengths are not equal. In case of circle, these two length A and B are equal. But in case of ellipse, this A and B are not equal. If we want to find the area of this elliptical type, that is elliptical type land, in that case, what will be the formula? The formula is the area is equal to pi A B divided by 4. And we know the value of pi, that is, which is approximate to 3.1416. We know pi is an irrational number. That is, value of pi, after decimal point, the decimal place will never finish. We just apply the approximate value, that is 3.14159. So the area is pi AB divided by 4. This length is A, and this length is B pi a b divided by 4 square unit and if we want to apply it in more specific way that is the another form of this formula that is 1 by 4 times pi a b that is 1 by 4 which is 0 0.25 times pi times a times b if we want to measure this type of land just find the length this one and this one and then apply this formula to find the exact area this row if we multiply these two values that will approximately 0 0.7854 times A times B. This formula is easy to use. That's why we use this one. So in case of elliptical land measurement, we can use this formula, pi A B divided by 4. We can use this formula also, 0 0.25 times pi times A times B. And we can also use this one, that is 0 0.7854 times A times B. So the formula is the area equal to 0 0.7854 times A times B area will be square unit. Let's see one example. If this length A is 100 feet and this length B is 50 feet. That is, this one is 100 feet and this one is 50 feet. So, according to this formula, that is, if we apply this one, we can use any formula, but this one is easy to apply. That's why if we apply this formula, that is 0 0.7854 times 100 times 50, which will give the area that is 3927 square feet and if we divide this value by 435.6 we know 435.6 square feet is equal to 1 soto so that will give 9.015 soto now let's see the area of half ellipse half ellipse type that is this type of land so this length is a this length is c and this one is the highest value for this curve this length is the maximum so we have A and C. So the formula will be 0 0.7854 times A times C. And since this C is the half and this one is the half ellipse, that's why the formula is exactly similar to the previous one. That is 0 0.7854 times A times C. If we take the total value and divide it by 2, in that case, we will get the half ellipse area. So the area is very much similar to the previous one because here, Comparing to the full ellipse, this, uh, this part is half. That's why if we substitute the value of C in the original formula, that will give the half ellipse area. That is, in this case, the area is 0 0.7854 times this A times this C. So in this case, we have to measure this length and this C in the highest where this value of C is highest. So that will be give the more accurate result. So this is our formula, that is area equal to 0 0.7854 times A times C, in case of half in, where this A is the this full length and C is this one. If we take B equal to 2C, that is double the value of C, in that case, what will be the formula? The area will be 0 0.3927 times A times B, that is the double of C. If we double this C and that value we consider as B, in that case, we have to use this formula. That is 0 0.3927 times A times B. But 
this formula is easy to apply. So we just use this formula, not this one. Let's see one example. If A is equal to 100 feet and this C is equal to 25 feet, in that case, the area is 0 0.7854 times 100 times 25 which is 1963.5 square feet. And after dividing this value by 435.6, we get 4.508 sato. So this is the area of the half ellipse. In case of half ellipse, we have to remember this value should be highest one. That is, this perpendicular, if we draw many perpendicular here, this perpendicular, that is C, this one should be the highest in length. And if we take this C in highest length, in that case, we will get the more accurate result. So, in case of half ellipse, we just use this formula, 0 0.7854 times A times C. Now, irregular half ellipse, that is, if the half ellipse not regular, suppose this one. So, suppose this one is half ellipse type length, which is not regular, because this one, this side, you see, does not regular. So, in this case, suppose this length is 100 feet. In this case, what should we do? As I told earlier, that is, find this perpendicular length where this perpendicular length is highest. The perpendicular here is the highest length. Thus, indicate this point. Now, join this point with this corner. That is, find the length of this one, which is 40 feet. And from this point to this point, which is, suppose, 80 feet. Now, you see, here we got one half ellipse and another half ellipse here. And this one, this one is very much elliptical type, not much more irregular. That is more regular type half ellipse. Now, for this half ellipse, find this highest length, this one, that is highest perpendicular length. Suppose this one is 10 feet. And for this one, suppose this one is 8. We have one triangle here where the sides are 40, 80, and 100, and two half ellipses. Where this length is 80 feet, and this length is 10 feet, this length is 40 feet, and this length is 8 feet. In part 1, we discuss about the finding the triangular type area length. Using that formula, we can easily find the area of this triangular type length. To find the area of this triangular type length, first we have to find the value of S, which is the sum of these three values, that is 100 plus 80 plus 40, divided by 2, which is 110 in this case. Now, the area will be square root of 110 times 110 minus this first value 100, times 110 minus 80, times 110 minus this 40. That is, the value of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C square unit. And, the area of this half ellipse, which will be according to the half ellipse formula, that is 0 0.7854 times this base is 80 and this perpendicular is 10. That is 0 0.7854 times 80 times 10 square unit. And for this half ellipse, we have the area is equal to 0 0.7854 times 40. This base is 40 and this one is 8 feet. That is 8 square unit. Now, if we add this three value, we will get the area of this irregular half ellipse. So first, the area of the triangle, which is approximately 1519.87 square unit. And the area of this half ellipse, after multiplying this three value, we we'll get 628.32 square unit. And finally, for this half ellipse, which is 251.328 square unit. So if we sum all these three value, we will get 2399.518 square feet, which is 5.51 sort of. That is, if we divide this value by 435.6, in that case, we get the value in Shotok, that is 5.51 Shotok. Or we can say this, the area of this half irregular type ellipse is approximately 2399.518 square feet. Here, we just use the triangle formula and half ellipse formula. So, using these two formula, we can measure maximum type of length. If one side curve, two side curve, or three side curve, or four side curve, no problem. Let's see one side curve type length, this type of length. If we want to measure this type of length, first we have to divide it into these two parts. Part is one rectangle, and this part is half ellipse. For this half ellipse, we just we have to find this highest perpendicular length, and for this rectangle, joining these two 
vertex opposite vertex separated it into two triangle so applying triangle formula we can easily find this the area of this two triangle using the half ellipse we can easily find the value of this half ellipse so after adding this the area of half ellipse plus these two triangle we can, we can easily get the area of this type of land so let's see another type of one side of curved land that is this type in this case what we should do first make it one rectangular type land then just divide it into two triangle just find the area of this rectangle consider this one is half ellipse and find this value and this one is the half ellipse so using half ellipse formula you just find the value of this half ellipse then the value of this half ellipse subtract this value of half ellipse from the total rectangle area that is the total area minus half ellipse area which will give the area of this type of land one side circular this type of land in case of this type of land just join these two points that is measure this length in this case we get one half ellipse and one triangle and for this half ellipse measure this length and use the half ellipse formula to find the area of this type of land and use the triangle formula to find the area of this part after finding these two value add these two to get the value of the total this one side circular type land we can use another type of formula to find this one side circular type land in this case if this length is r if these two length are equal in that case if we measure this angle if this angle is 30 degree in that case we can use this formula theta divided by 360 degree times pi r square we know pi r square gives the value of the total circle and since this one this angle is 30 so 30 divided by 360 degree that is total angle at center is 360 degree that's why 30 divided by 360 degree times pi r square the area of the circle which gives the area of this portion that is this part of circle if we substitute the value of theta is equal to 30 we get 1 divided by 12 times pi r square so this part this part the area of this part is 1 12th part of the whole circle so the area in this case is 1 by 12 pi r square if we get the value of r just substitute the value of r here and the value of pi is here that is 3.14159 or 3.1416 that is any approximate value of pi in that case we will easily get the value of the area now the conversion of fraction feet that is 50 feet 6 inch which is equal to how much feet if we want to find the value in feet that is using the decimal point what will be the value so we know 12 inch equal 1 feet 6 divided by 12 feet which is 0 0.5 50 feet 6 inch we can say this one is 50.5 feet so in this way we can convert uh, the inch in feet using this one that is the divide this inch part divided by 12 to get the fraction feet so 50 feet 6 inch which is equal to 50.5 feet 50.75 feet equal how much feet and how much inch that is 50.75 feet here what is the full feet and full inch that is we know here there will be 50 feet but how much inch we know 12 inch equal to 1 feet so 0 0.75 feet which is equal to 0 0.75 times 12 inch which is 9 inch. that is multiply this value that is fraction feet by 12 to get the value in inch that is 9 inch for the fraction feet multiply this one a by 12 to get the value in inch sometimes we need this type of conversion in land measurement